warm welcome to lesson number 36 in our 50 part series on the law of evidence in today's lesson we will talk about the rule of best evidence with specific regard to both oral as well as documentary evidence you see when we talk about the rule of best evidence that essentially is the rule of the best possible evidence and that means that when you have a certain number of choices of evidence that can be given to the court for a certain fact you must give the best out of those to the court which means that let us say there is a certain fact now a fact can be proved through multiple pieces of evidence it can have maybe oral evidence 1 oral evidence 2 oral evidence 3 which means this can be the first witness second witness third witness likewise it can be documentary evidence 1 documentary evidence 2 document evidence 3 there can be many options right so it's possible that many people saw a certain fact or that there are many photographs of a certain fact but all of these are various pieces of evidence and now do you bring all of these to the court or do you give the worst out of them or do you give the best out of them so the rule of best evidence basically is that when you have a certain set of choices when you have a certain number of evidences you give the best possible evidence to the court right it's one of the the fundamental cardinal principles of the law how that translates is that oral evidence should be direct so when you talk of the rule of best evidence it basically means that if it is oral oral evidence should be direct which means it should not be hearsay and then when you talk about the best evidence in terms of documentary evidence then it should be primary right so oral evidence should be direct and it should not be hearsay documentary evidence should be primary if you cannot get primary then well it could be secondary but it should not be neither of these which means it should be at least one of these it should be the primary or secondary in a way if you notice as to what the rule of best evidence is then it is just a way of saying that what is given to the court should be original whether you're talking about oral or you're talking about documentary let's have a look how when you say that oral evidence should be direct right which means let us say there's a certain incident that has been seen let us say a person saw an incident of a fight between two people okay so two people were fighting now this was seen by a person okay so this person was here he sat and watched the entire thing okay this person saw it now if he comes to the court and speaks then he is the person who originally saw it so when he comes to the court it is direct and you can see the direct is basically a kind of original however if this person now decides to tell someone else so he tells this person this person tells this person and now this person finally comes to the court this person here is giving us what is here say but as you can see it is not original right so as you can see even in the case of oral evidence when you say that it should be direct you're basically asking for it to be original right and then when you talk of primary evidence the meaning of primary itself means the original document itself so you can see that both for oral as well as documentary it is desirable that we should have an original source so we just saw that according to the rule of best evidence we choose the best that must be given to the court which means that let us say we have oral evidence and we have witness number 1 we have witness number 2 witness number 3 we have several pieces of oral evidence then we pick the best out of these right so let's say witness number 1 was maybe the closest so we pick witness number 1 likewise let us say we had for documentary evidence we had document number 1 we had document number 2 three four you had many documents you have to choose the best out of these maybe you can say document number 4 was the best so we took document number 4 the next question is that how do we make the best choice if both oral and documentary are available which means you have w1 w2 w3 as well as d1 d2 d3 d4 now how do you choose the best out of these how do you compare these well for that you choose the most reliable one and that 
reliability is basically decided by the judge okay so you you make both available and the court decides as to what is reliable as to what the best one is that is decided by the court so that's not something that you need to worry about as far as the indian evidence act is concerned as far as the indian evidence act goes you know how to choose on the basis of some rules that have been given to you the rules are very simple oral evidence should be direct and documentary evidence should be either primary or secondary also in the example that i just spoke of where you have both oral and documentary evidence there are some rules that are given about making the choice between these right when you have to pick the best one out of these and that you find in the exclusion of oral evidence by documentary evidence something that you can see in chapter 6 of the indian evidence act so one thing of course is reliability which is seen as a means of appreciation the other thing is that documentary evidence is given precedence to oral evidence in chapter 6 not as a matter of appreciation but as a rule that is contained in the act itself right so when you have witness number 1 witness number 2 witness number 3 and you have document number 1 document number 2 document number 3 and you have to pick the best one then maybe you might have to pick the documentary evidence over the oral evidence so talking about the rule of best evidence we've spoken a bit about oral and we've spoken a bit about documentary and i would like to make a mention of a third kind of evidence well i can't say it's a third kind of evidence as such but maybe i even could and that is electronic evidence okay so electronic evidence is kind of like the third type of evidence okay but it has been brought within the fold of documentary evidence and therefore it is not a third type of evidence because it is ultimately documentary evidence and even this has to satisfy some rules so we were studying the rule of best evidence right so even this has to follow some rules and those rules are relatively recent and they're evolving you have especially after the it act of 2000 that's when you had section 65a and 65b so even the judgments that have come are less than 20 years old because you all had them after having section 65a and 65b so the rule regarding choosing the best form of evidence is still evolving but then the principle applies that we need to choose the best evidence whether it is oral documentary or electronic so i hope this lesson was of use to you thank you so much for your patience good day